Hello everyone, this is Living to Learn. Thank you for watching. Again, I always appreciate the support of uh, those who have watched my videos, those who have subscribed, shared, liked, commented, um, donated financially. That um, is always helpful as well. So I uh, just want to say thank you to those of you who are tuned in. As you know, we've had a, there's been a theme, right, the last few videos. And today we're going to talk about making a, a decision and what, what happens to our mind, what, what that triggers in our brain when we actually do that. Um, especially when it's a, a decision to do something different, right? Something we're, we don't necessarily, um, we're not necessarily familiar with. And again, this, this you know, there, there's a range of, of, of how, where and how this goes, right? I mean, it can anywhere from, you know, looking to you know, improve yourself, right? Working on personal development, right? Self-improvement. It can be, you know, trying to get out of a certain job or job industry that you're no longer happy with or just a change in life, right? Maybe you just want to see things different. You want to be different, right? And the only way you can be different is to do different. And the only way to do different is to be become different, right? And so really that's what, you know, this theme's been about. We've been going through this thing called the change cycle. And there's six phases. Let me explain the change cycle, right? I actually had somebody um, request, hey, can you can you give us just a quick breakdown? Um, so again, if you have suggestions for my videos, if you have suggestions for maybe content that you want me to uh, to 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 cover some a subject, a certain you know topic, feel free to to let me know. Feel free to comment. Feel free to um, you know. Again, I, I I I take suggestions, and so I'm open to it. Um, but anyway, the change cycle. This is what it is. And again, I've been. This has been based off of the book Act Now. Uh, co-authored by my business coach, Regine Corona, as well as Dr. Natalie Phillips. Uh, great book. Um, I, I have, I've put the link in a few of uh, my video descriptions. I'll do it again today because if you're looking for a book that has a, a really unique breakdown of, of, of what these challenges look like, right? Going from point A to point B, if we're advancing, if we want to become entrepreneurs, if we just want to do something different, a change in life, right? Growth. We, we want to break out of our shell. This book is really going to help you. It identifies and breaks things down to um, so that we can really dissect what this means, right? What what are we what are we up against, right? Because there's certain processes, there's certain things that our minds and bodies actually experience when we're trying to do something different. So it's really helpful to have a guide like this book um, to kind of break those things down. But anyway, uh, this has been based out of the book, and where they cover the change cycle. Now, the change cycle is actually something that was worked on by Natalie and Joel Rivera from the Transformation Academy. That's according to the Book Act now. Okay, so they're they're giving credit to where credit's due. And I'm simply just, you know, taking what I've read from the book. And so here are the six phases of the change cycle. We've already gone through two of them. Today will be the third, and then we'll continue until we've covered all of them, all phases. So the first phase is discontentment, right? You realize, hey, there's something either in my life or just some part of whatever it might be. Uh, you know, I'm not happy with the outcome. I'm not happy with this. I'm discontent. Um, I'm, you know, I don't like how this is going, whatever it may be. The second phase is the breaking point, right? So you've already identified something that you're discontent with. And now you're, you've gotten to that point where you're like, you know what? <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not helping me just to be discontent. I, I'm actually sick and tired of this being like this and I, I've reached my breaking point, right? I'm done. Something needs to happen. Today, we're going to be talking about the third phase, which is the decision phase, right? Okay. We, we've identified something we're not happy with. We've reached a breaking point where we can't stand it anymore. And now we're going to make a decision to do something about it. Okay. But soon after that comes the fourth phase, which is fear. Again, anytime we're trying to do something new, fear is automatically going to be triggered. And I, I, I've talked about this before. In fact, a, uh, a few videos back, I actually spent a lot of time discussing fear um, and kind of breaking down some of the, just some of the uh, components of fear and, and what what is actually happening, right? And um, so anyway, that's the fourth phase of the change cycle. After that is amnesia. Now it's funny, right? Um, amnesia, is is when you when you forget something right and so that that fifth phase being amnesia is just hey you know what i actually you 
it comes from fear. You actually forget, like, that you were even looking to to change something, right? You're looking to go in a different direction. You forget. Just, you know, you're 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 like, oh, you know what? I I don't know what I was thinking. And then that leads to the last phase, which is backtracking, right? You start to backtrack. You know what? Never mind. You know what? It was tougher than I thought. You know what? I I actually I'm not ready for this, or or however we say it to ourselves. And listen. Again, let me say this again, and I've said this in several videos. I have experienced the change cycle. I have gotten through to that sixth phase. And the idea behind this, and, and this is actually a good, today's, epi, uh, today's video is actually a good um, segue into, you know, explaining the, cha the change cycle in full. So again, those six phases of the change cycle are discontentment, breaking point, decision, fear, amnesia, and finally backtracking. The idea is once we get to the decision phase, okay, right now, like what we're talking about today, about making a decision, about making, committing to make the best choice, right? That's the title of the video. How do we, how to commit to making the best choice, right? How do we commit to this? Because again, automatically when you decide, your brain starts setting off alarms, your mind starts you know, setting off alarms. And again, everything comes down to self-preservation. The Our minds want to take care of us. Our brain is designed that way that it wants to make sure we're safe and we're okay. And so what happens is when we change, when anytime we kind of, we have a pattern interrupt in our life, anytime we kind of just go off the tracks a little bit, right? Um, we, you know, we're used to going, you know, making right turns and all of a sudden we make a left. That's going to trigger something in our minds. And, and this is natural. And so this is what I wanted to talk about in this video is, to understand what we're up against when we make a decision, especially when it's a decision that's difficult, that's tough, that's going to require us to do something we've never done before or, or are not comfortable doing, right? Comfort is something else, right? Comfort, our body, our mind loves comfort because comfort is reassurance. Com comfort is safety, right? And this is what our mind and our body is designed to do. It's designed to keep us safe. And, and understandably so. There are, listen, there are definitely situations that we should be safe from, right? You shouldn't, you should never think it's okay to just walk across the freeway, you know, at three, at three o'clock in the afternoon. It's, it's not safe. It's not a good idea. So if your mind tells you that it's doing a good job, right? <laughs> there are, there are situations where we need to relax, where we need to not do that. Okay. But not every change should, um, you know, deserves that outcome. Right. Not every change, not every decision requires us or needs needs us to be afraid. And see, that's the thing with our mind. Our mind doesn't know the difference. Our brain doesn't know the difference. It's just wired that way. <laughs> Excuse me for that. <laughs> a little bit of spit uh, flying there. Um, <laughs> but l this, this is what happens. OK, so listen, if you've been there, right. If you've been there where you're like, hey, I, I've seen something, you know what, I don't like how this is going. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And now I'm going to decide, you know what, I'm doing something about it. Right. And again, the one I always use is the one that I'm experiencing myself. Right. I've been going to the gym now consistently for a year. Have Do I see the results that I want? No. But guess what? I've been going for a year. And it was hard. And it is hard. It is difficult to be consistent. Right. Because there's all these other things that come with it. And so it's easy to just say, you know what, forget about it. Forget what I was trying to do and and go back to what I was doing before. I haven't quit, though. I've made that decision and I've stuck to it and I'm still working toward that. Now there's other areas of my life that I need to apply this to. And so I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from from a, a place of understanding in the here and now, as well as from past experience where I've been trying to do things different. I wanted to make a change. I wanted to do something else. And then I'd get there and then just the fear sets in. All of a sudden you, it's just, you know, why did I even try to do this? Right? That decision, that point, the phase of the change cycle, that is the decision phase. This is where we can either move forward or we can kind of step back. Again, I understand how difficult this is. This is hard. This is really hard. If you want to do something different, if you want to do something you've never done before, it's insanely difficult. Insanely. And I say insane because your mind is going to make you think you're crazy. 
your brain's going to be like, what are you doing? What are you, <laughs> why are we doing this? What, what was, what was so bad about the other place? The other place is not what I want. That's what was so bad about it. The other place was not up to my standard. The other place was not, was keeping me, you know, from accomplishing all the things that I should be able to accomplish in this life. That's what's wrong with it. But see, our brains don't understand that. So we kind of have to coach ourselves a little. We kind of have to remind ourselves. And that's what I'm hoping these videos will be. I'm hoping there'll be support, um, you know, material for support in your journey, in your, um, in your pursuit of more, of change, of different. And all of us are going to have different levels of that. Some of us are going to experience success earlier than others. That's the other thing I want to talk about. Comparison. Comparisons will kill us. Okay. I follow this guy on Instagram. His his uh, Instagram uh, handle is heavy to modified, right? Just an amazing story. Guy was over 400 pounds and now he's down like I think I'm, I don't know how much he's lost exactly, but I mean, this dude is incredible, right? His story is incredible, right? He has been very successful. He has worked hard and he has, he is beginning to see the fruits of, of his labor. Now, if I was to compare myself to this guy, I'd be beating myself up every day. Like, Hey, come on, man. He lost 200 pounds. You can't even, you know, you're only down this much and he's done this and you're not, you know, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can cheer him on and I do. I leave, you know, encouraging comments when I can. And and I and I do admire him and I do admire that he has, you know, come this far. But comparison will kill me. That's not my my job, okay? And that's not your responsibility to compare yourself to someone else. Everybody's results are going to come quicker, later, different, different times. That doesn't matter, right? Go back to some of the things I talked about in my earlier videos. Right. Where I talked about what the important thing is to finish something that you started. Right. Because that's going to begin to develop something in your mind. You're going to start to notice a pattern like, hey, you know what? I'm actually a person who can begin to do something and then go through with it. That that is so empowering. That's so fulfilling. Right. That's that's going to build us up. That's going to increase our confidence. That's going to increase our belief in ourselves. And that's what we need to keep going. That's what we need to keep going. I Instead of me comparing myself to someone who's, you know, just, I mean, they're doing phenomenal. I can acknowledge that, you know, and please acknowledge that because that's going to help you as well. Be grateful. Be help, Be happy for others. Be excited for others' success. You know, I'm thankful that, 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 that I was, for whatever reason, designed this way, that I can draw strength from seeing other people do well. I'm happy about that. That's that's something that I have. I don't know if it's a gift. I don't know if everybody can develop that. But I think that's how we should think about things. I think that's how we should look at things. Like, hey, they're doing well. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to draw inspiration from that instead of hating on that person or instead of saying like, oh, well, you know, this, this and that or making excuses as to why they're, you know, advanced, be, you know, past where you're at or whatnot. It's not a race. That's not what this is. This is especially with this video. Right. This is about committing to making the best choice and and staying committed, right? What do what do I need to do to remain committed? What do I need to do to stay in this fight? Because you're not always going to feel like it. It's not always going to be, you know, again, it's sometimes it's going to feel like, man, are my wheels just turning here? Am I just like doing something just to do it? No, you're learning, you're building, you're growing. The results are not always when you want to see them. But the best result has already happened that you've started. That's the best result. Give yourself credit. Give I got I give myself credit for stick for sticking to my gym routine for a year. I give myself credit. I pat myself on the back for that. I'm not done. I still got a lot of work to do. I still have a lot of things to do with my diet, with with, you know, my scheduling. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to work on. But you know what? I'm going to give myself props for what I have done so far. And yeah, I said props. That's how you know I'm old. <laughs> That's how you know I'm old, right? Nobody talks like that anymore. But I'm giving myself props, right, for doing that. And you should too. And that should just do something to our minds, right? It should make us a little bit more um, positive, right? It should it should help us be a little bit more um, excited and 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 um, and happy for other people, help cheering them on, because we're on a, we're on a journey too. We're headed. We're headed for success as well. But that's what I'm talking about in this video is the decision 
the decision process, right? This, this decision phase. How do we stay committed to it? Because what we don't want to do is get to the last phase of the cycle. We want to break this cycle. We don't want to follow it. Okay. The fear is going to come, but we don't want to get to the point where, where we have amnesia, where we actually forgot what got us here. And we forgot about the discontentment. We forgot about the breaking point. Like, man, there's a reason. There's a reason you started to do this. And now you've forgotten that because you're afraid. And now you're going backward. We don't want to go backward, only forward. And if forward is crawling at a really slow pace, guess what? That's still moving forward. So how do we stay committed to these to a decision? How do we commit to making the best choice by reminding ourselves as often as we can why we decided to do this in the first place? Hey, yeah, it doesn't feel good today to do this, but guess what? Remember when you saw a picture of yourself on social media and you did not like the way you looked? That's why you need to go to the gym today. Remember that? Remember when your boss got on you and you you were just saying, you know what, I'm I'm sick of this job. That's why you're doing this. Remember when, you know, this happened and, and you felt like, man, I missed an opportunity because I wasn't prepared. That's why you're doing this. You have to remind yourself. You've got to write it down. You've got to put sticky notes in your in your on your mirror next to your bed. I don't care how often you got to tell yourself this is how we are going to commit to making the best choice. Because when it's decision time, when we make that decision, two things can happen. We can either continue and go through with it. Or we can end up backtracking and we don't want to do that. There's a reason you want to make this decision. So I'm here to encourage you. Thank you for watching this video. Again, everybody's, you know, comments, um, support, all that stuff. Just it's been very helpful. And so I just want to say I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much um, for taking the time to watch my videos. And um, I look forward to making, you know, trying to make the best content I can possible for you. So, again, decision time. Don't be afraid. You're going to be afraid. Don't let the fear take over. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it knock you off course. It's not, it's not the end of it. You will get where you want to get. You just have to stay committed.